Hey guys, Arcade Adam here, and uh, you're joining me kind of mid, uh, mid process here, but I was recently put to task by uh, one of the members on a Facebook group that I'm in. You may know him uh, more famously here on YouTube as Mame Fan, uh, and he was having some uh, trouble with Daphne. And I thought I had Daphne all figured out, so I was like, let's see if I can help this guy. So, uh, what I'm doing here is, um, even though I'm pretty sure I already had an HD, in quotes, air quotes version of Daphne, I realized my versions are 720p, and what he was talking about was 1080p HD remastered versions that were done, apparently, with some sort of AI and upscaled in cer some certain way. I don't really know. I didn't look that much into it, but... Um, I can confirm they look pretty awesome so as you can see over here on the left I am taking the files he showed as an example and transferring them into my rocket launcher setup just to make sure we're on apples to apples here I can walk him through uh, getting what he wanted and what he wanted is uh, bezels at launch with Daphne and um, usually that's not a big deal because Daphne's been around for a while there's a Daphne module and rocket launcher but these specific hd releases are a little special kind of they came with uh, pre-made batch files that launched daphne in a certain way um and i don't know enough about daphne to go in there and tweak them too much because they kind of enable this whole hd stream so as you guys may or may not know daphne is basically an emulator for video based games and so it's going to you know, originally it's emulating a laserdisc based game. So I don't know enough about that. I know it's got seek times. I know if you start messing with that, it could really throw off the timing in the game. And the timing in these games is everything. So uh, to that effect, I'm just kind of following along. I'm copying the files. Um, I've got Rocket Launcher over here. What you just saw me do was create a new wheel called Daphne HD. Um, I'm making the ROM path, so basically what I'm going to do is gonna, there's three HD versions. There's Space Ace, there is, uh, what was it, Dragon's Lair and Dragon's Lair 2. So Space Ace, Dragon's Lair, Dragon's Lair 2, I'm copying those remasters over. I think all together they're around 12 to 14 gigs, something like that. And um, I was looking at the uh, directory structure, and each of the games kind of comes with its own version of Daphne and batch files. And I'm just kind of winging it here, but it looks like you can smash them all together. So I'm going to put them all in one directory. They retain their batch files, they retain their individual video files, and we should be good to go. So I'm just going to wait for this uh, transfer to finish up. Um, and I've got my rocket launcher wheel ready to go so it's basically set to look for dot bat files which I, like I said this release comes with pre-made bat files that massage Daphne in a way to get these things running properly and then um, for the emulator though I'm using PC launcher because PC launcher natively launches dot bat files and then I'll show you guys in the module settings basically you go in there and you set your app weight exe to Daphne because that's what's actually loading this thing so that's how we're going to get started. Um, I think I have a good idea on how I can get bezels to work. Daphne is a full screen application. I'm running it with PC Launcher, so it's going to be a traditional executable file. I'm not sure how that's going to work, but uh, we'll find out together as we go through this video. And I'm going to fast forward this so we don't make something completely boring and unwatchable. <laughs> Okay, wasn't that progress bar fun? And now um, I also fast forwarded this slightly slower so you can kind of see what I'm doing. But basically we're just extracting the RARs. And um, I wanted to just note in case you guys run into this too with this release. Um, the couple of them, there was a RAR that was misnamed, which is weird. But I haven't seen that since like the late 90s. Like who's releasing this stuff? I don't know if that was my auto download or what. But I had to rename a couple RARs. Anyway, we got it extracted. That's the whole point. And now what I'm going to do is in that ROMs folder, 
Uh, I'm smashing them all together, like I said. So I'm just copying everything from the interior of those directories into that folder. Of course, there's a good number of files, like 350 of them, that are the same. So we're just overriding them each time. And here's my batch file. So this is what we're left with. We've got the English and Spanish versions of each game. So I'm going to go over here on Rocket Launcher that was waiting patiently this whole time. Hit finish. It's going to find all those executables and batch files in that ROMs directory. ROMs, air quotes. Um, and it found 11 entries and it made a database for us. So yay. Great. Um, the next thing we're going to do is turn on our bezels. Uh, just make sure... Uh, I think glo globally I had my bezels on, but I'll just make sure it's true to force it on for this uh, particular wheel. I'm going to try fill on these bezels. And by the way, my source for the bezels is Bezel Project. See my other video on that. Bezel Project is basically a group of people that are making these bezels and releasing them. And there's a nice installer for Windows that will point things at RetroArch or Rocket Launcher and install them for you. So anyway, I've got all these bat files in my wheel that I don't need. I'll come back and get rid of those later, but we're just going to concentrate on Dragon's Lair and fail boat. <laughs> so, like I was saying earlier, we've got to go into the module and actually talk about how that particular ROM entry is launched. So if we edit specific module settings, we've got to add the ROM, again, in quotes, and then we pick our Dragon's Lair, our application, I've actually, um, you know, this is Ninja Edit, this is Future Adam, so I did this wrong. Don't do this. Uh, I picked <laughs> the Daphne application as the launch application, which is wrong, because you want the batch file, because that's what's actually got the commands to launch Dragon's Lair. Daphne doesn't know what the heck we're doing. You know, it's waiting for basically a file command, so it's just going to yell at us. But anyway, what's important here, if you're following along at home, the app wait exe is Daphne, because that's what's running this thing. So that's basically the application that Rocket Launcher is looking for to close, to see if it's running. Just basically look for to perform certain actions based on your scripting and what's going on you know, behind the scenes. So we're going to close this. And while we're at it, we're going to double check and see if we've got any bezels. I don't remember if I did that already. I don't think so. So Arcade, Rocket Launcher, Media, Bezels, and uh, Daphne, where we got Daphne? So we need to make a Daphne HD folder because I'm kind of doing it on the side. So I've got bezels in Daphne. We're gonna copy this and paste it, make another one. And I called my wheel Daphne HD. You call it whatever you want. So we're gonna call this Daphne HD to match up with our database name. And then um, another thing you'll see me do in the future is this ROM name is called layer 43, which is not gonna grab the layer without the 43 bezel. So you can see, again, it didn't launch properly because it didn't set the right batch file and it didn't have a bezel because uh, it didn't match the name up properly. So we got a lot of things we gotta fix. So here, I'm just going to fire up uh, the game itself from the batch file. So I'm going to go into my HD, my folder, my ROMs folder. I'm going to find layer43.bat. And we're just going to check out what's actually in here. And there's, a, I, like, I recognize some of this. I get the resolution. I get the seek delay, that kind of thing. But there's a whole lot of other commands in here that I wouldn't have the faintest idea of what it's actually doing. But we're going to run it and see if it just runs if we double click on it. Because if it doesn't do that, none of this is ever going to work. Hey, that's... Yeah, we got it. All right. Dragon's nice. Lair, a fantasy adventure where you become a valiant knight. On a oh, wow. This does... Yeah. Even on... Uh, going back in here and editing the video. Because, <laughs> you know, OBS had some compression and stuff. That looked pretty good. So we're good. We're doing good. All right, let's get back on the struggle bus and see what we can do by ro launching it through Rocket Launcher. So we'll launch it up again. And, oh, Deadpool, nice. And again, I didn't fix the stupid uh, applaunch.exe. Uh, so, but we got bezels, kind of. 
we've got, <laughs> got a lot going on there. We've got some scan lines, we got bezels, and we got a big old error message. So let's fix that. So let's go back into bezel settings. Uh, and fade and just double check things. Everything's on global by default when you make a new system, so that should be fine. All right, let's edit specific module settings on PC Launcher. And there I just realized my mistake. So let's get the layer 43.bat as the launch application and then Daphne as the app wait. So that should fix our launching problem. Let's check that out. Hey, all right, that's looking good. Yep, we got the game, but we got no bezels. Okay, so we got Rocket Launcher launching the new HD versions, but no bezels. Back to the grind. All right, now let's uh, double check our actual bezel files. Like, I'm not really sure what bezel project bezel settings are actually are. They could be resolution specific, and that since these are uprised, maybe that's what's going on. So let's go check out Rocket Launcher Media bezels Daphne HD oh, and also we never changed our names so we're gonna open up our bezel INI file and notepad plus plus no thank you but it looks like we have a combined XY coordinate of 1920 by 1080 so that's fine because my resolutions 1080 and so are these bezels and so are the upscaled Daphne games. So let's make a copy of Dragon's Lair and name it Dragon's Lair 40 or Lair 43 to match the ROM name or the batch name. So that should launch that. Let's see if that does it. Nope. Okay. Still no bezels. Let's see if we can uh, figure this out some other way. Now in the bezel settings, they're enabled. I had them set to fill just because I didn't know what size or aspect ratio they were. I'm gonna go back to use global since that's working for everything else on my system by default. Uh, bezel monitor should matter. Even though I have a marquee which counts as a second monitor. It, like I said, every other game's working so that should be fine. We shouldn't have to change anything else. But if you read the description here, it says if it's Anything other than false, it automatically trans uh, trans uh, can't talk. Sorry, creates a transparent layer that overlays the application, and this is where I start to think about: well, if Daphne's running in full screen, it's just going to overwrite and go on top of anything that Rocket Launcher tries to overlay on top of it. So, Daphne being an older emulator and not really context aware, that's really where we're going to have our issue here. And Depending on how interesting this video is to you guys, I might speed up the rest of my troubleshooting process because I go back and forth on this for another 10, 20 minutes and that's probably not that interesting. But the end result is uh, I needed to make Daphne run not in full screen. And that was basically the trick to get Rocket Launcher to work. And there's also another little piece of secret sauce there. But let's try this again. Of course, I've... Uh, been editing this in the future and there's our bezel and like I said it's behind Daphne so you can have <laughs> this weird combination of like the executable command prompt from the batch file plus the uh, bezel or you can have the game you can't have both pick one <laughs> so let me do some more editing I'll get you guys back up to speed yeah wow look at the quality on that that is just it's fantastic main fan Good looking out. I'm really glad you guys, or you uh, shared this with us. Okay, just wanted to fast forward a little bit of this, some dead ends that I went down. But um, uh, one thing I want to point out is log files. Guys, always look at your log files. Best clues ever, you know, for finding stupid stuff like this. So anyway, in that log file, there was a reference to the command line, and it said something about 
uh, US, use overlays and it had a parameter. And right now I'm looking at the original Daphne launch parameters and look, in params it's got use overlays B1. Don't know specifically what the hell that means, but that's a clue. So we can go back into the bat files, the batch files of this specific release and see, hey, is that command in there or is that command in there and it's passing a different parameter. And if I remember correctly, I discover that it's passing the number two. Again, not exactly sure what the hell that means. Like I said, I'm not a bezel expert by any means, but here it is. So I like to throw things at uh, <laughs> config files and see what, see what sticks. So this is a two, we're gonna change it to a one, uh, hit save, and then I'm gonna probably fast forward some more because after I poke around, uh, I realized that I need to take this out of full screen and that's kind of the majority of the secret sauce. So I'll see you there. Alright, back again. All that was a bunch of boring dead ends and uh, fruitless endeavors so I finally went back in the batch file and I'm gonna remove dash full screen so that should launch Daphne in a window and it should be roughly a 1080p window give or take because this is a 4x3 game so hopefully I get a 1080p window with a 4x3 game in the middle because that would be perfect if I can position it and then throw an overlay on top of it with rocket launcher Let's see what we got Hey, <laughs> we're not positioned properly, and we have like a bezel behind a bezel, but we're getting there. Like, that's progress. <laughs> also, the scan lines on top of 1080p, it may not be your thing, but I like them. I think that's a cool effect. So, a little bit of alt tab going on. Wow, yeah, looking sharp. May not come out on the recording very nice and I know compression doesn't treat it very well but to me to my eyes on my machine looking good at 1080p so uh, the next thing I want to show you guys uh, I struggle with basically I turn my bezels back off and I'm trying to position this window because you know in Microsoft Windows it's supposed to remember last window location after application close, right? But everybody knows that since Windows 3.1 all the way to Windows 10 version whatever they're on now, that has never been fixed. It's always a dumpster fire. It just, applications just do whatever the hell they want to do, it seems to me anyway. So, uh, I'm gonna fast forward to a trick that I use on some stubborn games that you guys may or may not be aware of. And I'll be right back. So as you can see there, I'm kind of making some headway, but not really. Kept moving back and forth. I had the white border on top. It's starting to pretty much piss me off. So, secret weapon time. It's a little application called Borderless Gaming. It keeps a running tally of stuff that you're running, and if you want it to do something different than what it's doing, you put it over in your favorites, and it automatically sets to auto maximize. I don't know if you guys even caught that. It automatically maximized a windowed game. So that's it. You saw what the configuration was. Put in your favorites, make sure it's just maximized. You can do other things like turn off cursor, hide taskbar, blah, blah, blah. But in this instance, uh, Daphne was just kind of working out of the box. So I turned my bezels back on, hit rocket launcher, and let's see what we got. Hey, that's perfect. Can't get any better than that. Uh, to me, I'm going to leave the scan lines on, but uh, this concludes the uh, how to get this done with the 1080p versions of uh, these Daphne releases. So if, you're, uh, if that's all you're after, thanks for joining me. But if you want to stick around, I'm going to complete this wheel out, download some artwork, get a wheel image, and uh, move the themes and wheel images over to the Daphne HD wheel and get that all set up if you'd like to stick around and see what that looks like.
If not, this is Arcade Adam. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, share, do all that stuff. And I'll see you in the next one. And if you guys are still watching, here you go. We're going to do what we did to the other two releases. We're going to grab the batch files. We're going to put them in the system specific module settings. And we're going to set our app weight to Daphne. We're going to set our application to the batch file itself. We're going to go into the batch file and edit it and remove full screen. And then set use overlay equal to one because we're not sure if that actually did anything or not. We just know it works. So we are all set there. And right now we're going into the bezel directories and making copies of Dragon Blair 2 and Space Ace and then setting them the exact names of the batch files. So when we launch Rocket Launcher, we have got a Space Ace with a bezel and scan lines. Hey, did make me a liar. <laughs> First try. <laughs> So now let's uh, double check Dragon's Lair 2, make sure I didn't mess that up. And, oh man, look at that game name, okay, we'll fix that, don't worry, <laughs> just want to make sure it works first. And we're good. So we've got bezels, kind of a weak bezel actually, hey main fan, I think uh, I've seen you do some magic with some bezels and I believe you've probably got a better one than the bezel project if you want to mention and share that and if not public challenge <laughs> no seriously guys he's freaking amazing he's got marquees that are just out of this world he's made his own bezels he's figured out how to do light gun games uh with bezels by adjusting the uh, overlay settings and things like that i don't know how you'd be on my channel and not know about him but i'll link him in the description below fantastic channel i was watching him before i even did this youtube thing and uh, truly an inspiration. So go check him out. Um, but uh, I am uh, definitely a big fan of his. So anyway, we're going to get out of here. And then we're going to start making the wheel. Yep, still totally trash at playing these games. But anyway, real quick, uh, pit stop before we start making the wheel. I forgot, if you're weird and you don't like scan lines... Uh, right click, go to game options and rocket launcher, and down at the very bottom of this list, there is shader name. That's for you. Go into there, and you can say, I believe it's, what is it, off or false? False. So you should have some shaders for scan lines and, and CRTs from different resolutions if you saw there. So turn that off, relaunch the game, and you shouldn't have any scan lines. And there you go, nice and clear. Actually, that makes the uh, bezel look a little better for Dragon's Lair 2. But anyway, let's get back to that wheel. Okay, guys, nobody panic. We're about to edit an XML file with Notepad++. Trust me, it'll make sense. We'll go slow. It won't hurt too much. <laughs> but this, to me, is the fastest way to make sense of the uh, rocket launcher database. As you saw... We've got a bunch of garbage names and a bunch of other garbage batch files in there. So the first one is up, Space Ace 1080p 4.3, not the Spanish version, just deleted the Spanish version. So you want to delete everything between game name and backslash game or anything that's not a game. So we've got Daphne, Daphne Launchbox, Input Grabber, whatever the hell that is, Install OCX, uh, Dragon's Lair 2. So what you want to edit to change the game name when it launches is the description. Leave the game name alone. That's the batch file name. Edit the description and that's what will show up on the fade screen when you launch the game in Rocket Launcher. So I've just deleted the Spanish version. Uh, here's the original Dragon's Lair. And we're going to edit the description again. Leave the game name alone. And the Spanish version is right below it. And we're just going to delete everything between game and game. Remove our spaces just in case it cares and we save our database file. And now if we, we, I don't even think we need to close Rocket Launcher. If we just click away to another database and click back again and then list the games, boom. The names of the games are the batch files. The description is now nice and pretty and it shows up on our fade screens and it doesn't look ridiculous. So we're good to go. That's all done. Now let's concentrate on the artwork. All right, we're gonna start with 
going to the arcade, media, and the Daphne folder because we don't want to start from scratch. We're going to copy everything in the Daphne folder and we're going to make a Daphne HD folder and then paste it in here. And apparently in my folder structure, I already had a Daphne HD folder, but it wasn't finished. So there was just some generic files. So I said replace and we're going to go into video. And the first things we got to do is change our game names to those goofy batch file names because we could have changed the batch file names in the beginning. But like I said, I wanted to be apples to apples to what other people and name fan are going to do so they can follow along easier. Uh, so we're just going to take those names over on the left, make sure they're exactly the same on the corresponding wheel videos. So Dragon's Lair 2, we already did Space Ace, we'll do Dragon's Lair 1. We can say Layer 43, or 4x3 I think is what they're going for. Um, and we're good here. And then we just gotta do the exact same thing for some image files and some themes. So to make it easy, we're gonna use the clipboard. We're gonna take these names, and hopefully we already formatted correctly, and, oh, went, uh, <laughs> Windows! Come on, wake up. <laughs> Focus, here we go, all right. Uh, Dragon's Lair 2, original Dragon's Lair, and Space Ace. So we're gonna copy those to our notepad file so we can easily grab them from the clipboard. I really should get a clipboard manager, but I'm probably too old to retrain myself at this point. So anyway, Space Ace theme, we'll rename that. Original Dragon's Lair theme, we'll rename that theme. And Dragon's Lair 2, we will rename that theme. That's all you got to do. As long as you're comfortable with the original media, obviously. You could probably go out and find the HD versions of these if you really wanted to, but I'm lazy, and this works well. Well, we'll see. <laughs> Same thing, wheel images. Uh, we're going to do Dragon's Lair 2, original Dragon's Lair... Again, you could go out and find different images to make your wheel look a little different, but I kind of want to make it look the same. And then we'll do something special for the main, the image on the main wheel. So we'll go into main menu, we'll go into video, uh, and then we got to make a copy of Daphne and make a Daphne HD cup. Oh, okay. Already in here. Whatever. Looks good. We'll keep that. If you don't have a Daphne HD <laughs> video like I already did, make a copy of your original Daphne video and name it Daphne HD. Now let's go into the main menu, images, and then find the wheel. And we've got that original. Well, it looks the same. So we're going to take the Daphne wheel image, make a copy of it, call it Daphne HD to match the database name. And oh boy, I mangled that one. So make sure we got a space. Got to get your formatting exactly right, otherwise none of this is going to work. And then I'm going to edit it um, in Photoshop to add like an HD logo. Okay, here we go. Photoshop. Open up our Daphne HD PNG. Uh, where is that? Oh yeah, open with it. <laughs> Sorry, I'm getting kind of tired at this point in the video. Bear with me. Um, and then we're going to grab an HD PNG file I had laying around, shrink it down, slap it on there like a sticker, and see what that looks like. So we're going to resize that down, copy, paste, uh, make it a little bit bigger again, and there you go. That looks stupid. <laughs> All right, let's grab a different one. Uh, I don't like that one. Um, there's got to be a better HD overlay looking thing that would look good on that clear image. Yeah, maybe that one. And that one ended up being some sort of struggle bus. I didn't like it very much anyway. So we're going to pick this one. Um, hopefully this PNG file isn't being goofy and lets me download it properly. Um, okay, downloading start shortly. I'll take your word for it. 
open hey there we go it looks like it's got a transparent background that's important when you're doing this stuff guys if you're new to photoshop and you don't need photoshop i just had it that's what i know there's gimp there's others um a couple people on the facebook group that i'm with know how to do this on their mobile device really really well so to each their own but this is what i know how to use make sure you grab a transparent png it just makes your life easier unless you want to spend all your time cutting it out and, oh, there you go. Yeah, I like that much better than that other old cutout one. That looks looking good. Let's get the your knees off there. Yep, that's the one. Flatten the uh, image. Save it as a PNG file. Make sure you retain your transparency. Uh, don't save all the other gobbledygook. And now double check your image. Hey, there you go. Looking, uh, looking sharp. So now... Let's uh, jump into Hyperspin and check things out. Alright, we're on the main wheel here. I believe Daphne is just a couple down under these collections, if I remember correctly. There we go. Daphne, Daphne HD, looking sharp. Hey, we got our theme, got the video. Let's jump in our wheel and see what that looks like. Nice. Hey, it even has the HD logos. See, like I said, mine. there was like a in-process thing. I don't remember setting this up earlier. But like I said, I had a 720p release, so it could have been why I had the HD, in quotes, artwork. But uh, main fan, thanks for helping us out and get this higher resolution uh, release. Uh, it looks really, really nice. Space new Space Ace, Ace with scan lines and a bezel. Please excuse my Team Viewer logo over there. Not sponsored. But um, I prefer to create and edit this video at my much more comfortable gaming rig desk rather than standing at my arcade. So please excuse that. I was too lazy to edit that out. Uh, but other than that, you're getting the full fat version of this. So let's check on Dragon's Lair. Theme's working good. The name... And the lower left is showing up. Looks like I spelled things correctly. I'm awful at spelling, so I always check that. Um, I might go back and change some of these fade screens because it's on random, and I, I like custom fade screens. But like you know, you guys know me. I'm a rock or a launch box guy. I don't mess around and hyperspin too much. So I'll probably go and edit this and go back and add these to my launch box setup. But yeah, looking good on Dragon's Lair 2, just like before. Got our scan lines, bezel, a little bit of overlay. I wish I was better at these games. <laughs> I was, uh, for the longest time, uh, when I first had these on my arcade machine, I thought there was a problem with the emulator. I thought my computer was running too fast. And, you know, it definitely wasn't a problem with my skill or reaction time. <laughs> but then I, uh, I jumped on a real machine at Galloping Ghost. And uh, boy, was I surprised. Not not a good experience. At least at uh, Galloping Ghost, you pay one entry fee and all you get is hurt feelings instead of a hurt wallet. <laughs> so yeah, absolute garbage at these games. But if you guys got any questions, uh, put them in the comments below. I'll try to help you out. Um, I just wanted to go through this process kind of together, really. I wasn't really sure when uh, MameFan posted on Facebook if this was going to be easy or not. I thought I had it already figured out with my 720p versions, but it turns out what he was talking about is slightly better. And uh, like I said, the releases were a little bit specific, which how they were configured with those batch files. But, you know, nothing's impossible. Just throw some time at it on a computer and sometimes you get lucky. <laughs> and here's uh, Dragon's Lair 2 without scan lines, just to kind of a, keep a comparison. Like I said, I prefer them, so I'm going to throw them back in on this one. But, uh, yeah, if you guys got any questions, I'll try to help you out in the comment section below. Um, let me know what you guys think of this. Like, is this, you know, blasphemy because it's not the original resolution and it's upscaled with some sort of weirdo AI? Or is this awesome because it's, you know, basically putting a fresh coat of paint on an old game. And that's what I love about emulation is you can kind of make it your own. You can use brand new HD versions, crystal clear, no scan lines, full screen anamorphic widescreen stretch or you can keep it 4x3 absolute exact emulation as it was back in the arcade 
you're the one that's running a CRT in your arcade and you've got it completely perfect and arcade perfect as it was originally intended. Everybody's got their own uh, opinion and that's what makes this great is you can, everybody in the hobby can do their own thing. Please like, subscribe, comment down below, share this video. It helps grow my channel. I really appreciate it. And I will see you guys in the next one.